Hey guys, this lesson is how to free transform something using Illustrator. Just a quick review, when you free transform, you have the ability to change the position, rotation, and scale. In Illustrator, hit the letter E. When you hit the letter E in Illustrator Creative Cloud 2020, four options will pop up, okay? These four icons will pop up. You can constrain, free transform, perspective distort, but I highly recommend using the last icon here known as free distort. It lets you move the four corners independent of the other three. Let's check out this exercise using Adobe Illustrator. I've got a serial box template right here, and I'm going to show you guys how I would put an image of a, of a serial bowl onto this onto this three-quarter angle view box. So I downloaded a picture of a cereal bowl. Okay, I downloaded this image. And I want to I want to get that into my Illustrator document. <clears throat> that image is a JPEG. So if I'm trying to put a JPEG into an Illustrator file, I have to place it. Okay, in the file menu, there's a place, there's a place option right here. But before I hit place, I think it's really smart to create a brand new layer. A layer in Illustrator is a group. So I'm renaming this blank layer, this new empty layer. I'm renaming it layer serial bowl. And when I place the JPEG into that layer, <clears throat> it's going to be in, in a separate group, which makes it really easy to hide and reveal it without messing around with the original serial box template. Okay, let's make this a little smaller. And I think that's a good size to distort and match the perspective of this serial box template. I can't just hit the letter E and free transform this image, okay? Um, Illustrator won't allow me to do it. It kind of looks like it's, it's letting me adjust the corner, but nothing's happening. And that's because this image is a JPEG and you can't free transform JPEGs in Illustrator. You have to convert them to shapes. How do you convert a shape how do you convert a JPEG into a shape using Adobe Illustrator? You've got to use image trace. Okay, once it's a shape, then you can use the letter E and free transform it. So here we go. I'm going to go to the window menu and open up my image trace options. I'm changing the mode to color and then I'm lowering the number of colors all the way down because I don't want to create too many shapes. With only five colors, I'm already going to get probably a hundred or more shapes, limiting to only five. Let me preview that. My computer's thinking a little bit. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. So in order to confirm that I'm ready to convert that JPEG into shapes, I'm going to click the expand button at the top of the screen. And let's take a look at this huge group of shapes. Look at all those shapes. At least a hundred shapes in there. At the very bottom of all these shapes, I see that there's a, a gray rectangle and I'm just gonna hide that because I don't really need that background rectangle. Okay, now I'm ready to distort this group of shapes. So I hit the letter E and then as I adjust the corner by holding Command, you gotta kind of eyeball this and decide exactly how you want to distort this. Um, it's not very methodical. It's it's really a lot of eyeballing. I'm just trying to get like a something. I'm just trying to distort this to an angle that looks like it would be believable. Okay, once I'm done, I, I click on the black arrow. Let's just make sure I get all these shapes. I'll use my arrow keys and move it around a little bit.
Okay, I think that looks good enough. That's believable enough. And now I've got my my cereal bowl image on my cereal box and it's been distorted so it kind of matches the perspective. Okay, let's try bringing in the cereal logo. Okay, this Kellogg's logo is provided inside the server as an Illustrator file. It's already shapes. Look at that. Look at it inside my Layers tab. It's already a bunch of shapes, so I don't have to use Image Trace on it. But how do I get another Illustrator? How do I get Illustrator shapes from another document into um, my Serial Box template? Well, it's very good to stay organized. So I'm creating a new layer. And what would be a good name for this layer? How about layer logo? While that layer is highlighted, I'll jump back to my logo document. And with all the shapes selected, I hit Command C to copy it. Let me switch back over to my destination document, make sure my destination layer is highlighted, and then paste Command V. There it is, it's pasted. Hey, wait a minute here, guys. All of my shapes are highlighted or outlined with the color green. I'm not used to that. Let me let me click on my first layer that I made. Everything's highlighted in blue. If I click on the cereal bowl, that's all red. And then when I click on the, the third layer, that's all green. For those of you that might not have created multiple layers, let me just tell you that Illustrator has chosen to uh, label all the, your layers with different colors and you don't really have an, a choice in changing these colors at least I don't think you can the first layer is blue the second one's red and the third one's green I'm using an older version of Illustrator your newer one might have different colors but just wanted to let you know that these different layers are color coded okay time to distort this Kellogg's logo so that it matches the perspective of my template I hit the letter E to activate my free transform tool and here I go um, when you guys when you guys are using Illustrator and you hit E you're gonna get four options that pop up you're gonna get these four icons and I think it's the best to use the fourth one down the fourth one down is known as free distort and it allows you to move the four corners independent of one another so I'm activating free transform and you can't see those icons on my screen because I'm using an older version, but you just got to take my word for it that I'm using free distort. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Using my arrow keys to just nudge this. You want it a little bit bigger. Okay, confirming with the black arrow. And what if I change the order so it goes underneath? So my layer logo is now underneath the cereal box template. And you can see the red is underneath the black. Okay, it's not distorted perfectly. Once again, I'm going to select the logo and hit the letter E. And let's distort it a little more. Okay, that looks better. Okay, zooming out with Command minus. And I've got my logo, I've got my serial bowl. All I gotta do is put my serial title, a tagline, a special offer, and I'll be done. All right, please try this on your own. Just remember, if you're bringing in a JPEG or a PSD file, you've got to use image trace in order to convert it to shapes before you can use free distort or free transform.